Going great. How about yourself? Not too bad. Um, was this the plan all along to stay in India? How, how did free agency unfold for you? And uh, what, were you happy with the uh, with the end result? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm happy with the end result. You know, I'm, I'm a coach. I played well with the coach. I got along with the players and the coaches at the same time. So it was a great bond with us. And I was willing to, to see the potential in the team and how I was able to you know, to change the karate and change everything from what it was prior, previous and see how, like I say, how much potential this team has, you know, and to come back to it and try to strive to go to the Super Bowl again, knowing we had the potential to do so. I was more than glad and happy to come back. Joel Erickson. Uh, why do you think the scheme fit you so well so last year? And do you think that having another year in it can help you take it to even higher level this year? Uh, they just allow me to play my ball. You know, it, it's nothing I, I, like I said, I like I've known before. I've been in the league eight years. I played almost everything. It was just that they allowed me to be confident within myself, play, play myself, play football, be free, and uh, and be myself, you know, allowing me to just be confident and be strong. George Bremer. You were able to become a leader in that room pretty quickly last year. Is it now something where you can build on that foundation coming back for a second season? Uh, yeah. Um, being around guys like Terrence Newman and guys that actually helped me be the player that I am now, I I was able to bring that knowledge to the guys at the coach. So it was fun, you know what I'm saying, helping these guys become reach their full potential, trying to reach their full potential and come back another year and try to get them to, get them to be – one of the best in the league, it, it, it feels good to be that leader. Steven Older. Hey, Xavier, um, this was a, a weird year to be a free agent, man, just because of the, the situation with the you know, COVID and the cap and so forth. Um, this, how, how, how difficult was that? Uh, how did that complicate things for, for you and just for everybody who was a free agent this year? I say you can, you just got to look at the circumstances, you know, um, going into this year, you know, that start with the beginning with COVID, you know, everything from the beginning of the season didn't seem right, wasn't the same. And now with the free agents, it wasn't the same. So, I mean, it was, it was a little frustrating, but at the end of the day, it wasn't because you have to look at the whole process and the whole, the whole scheme of things or how the year went. So by doing that, it wasn't really bad at all. One other question on a different topic. Um, I think you're 30, 31, almost, or something like that. But you, you looked like a, a young guy out there last year. How much do you think you have left? I mean, you think you, how long do you think you want to play? Not until the wheels fall off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, JJ? Hey, Xavier, just curious. You mentioned the, the defense, and you think it has Super Bowl potential. What about this defense makes you so confident in its potential this year? Uh, how aggressive you play, how fast you run to the ball. Uh, I mean, a relentless uh, turnovers. I mean, everything you want in the defense is is is, is there at the coats, and and you can see it out there on the field. You can see everything. So with that, you know, you want to be in something. You want to be a part of something like that that's eventually going to make history. So um, I'm I'm happy to be back, honestly. A few more here. Kevin Bowen. Xavier, congrats. We know Jonathan Gannon meant a lot to you last year. Um, what have your conversations been like with James Rowe? Um, telling him congratulations on uh, being in D.C. He took another step in his career. And um, eventually, you know, things go right with him at being in D.C. at Philly, you know, being the head coach. So um, I'm just I'm proud and happy for him. Has Kenny Moore mentioned anything to you about the new position coach? Uh, no, I've spoken to the position coach a little here and there, but um, we're eventually going to meet up soon. Jim Maiello. Hey, Xavier. Yeah, you, you kind of mentioned the free agent process. I was just curious if it, if it – was it tough to remain pr patient throughout that? Because obviously it took a little time for this to come together. Uh, yeah, you have to. I mean, it's a waiting game, just like the draft. I mean, you don't know where you're going to go. You don't know anything. So you just got to sit back and relax and just let your agent do his job and let him talk to the guys that want to, you know, sign you. So, you know, I was interested in going back with the coach and we made it, made a deal. 
you make it sound easy. Was it easy to be just to sit back and, and relax during that during that week? No, man, it's not easy at all. I mean, you want to be back on the team ASAP. But um, like I say, man, you just got to find time. You got to realize the moment. You got to realize what's going on around you. You got to realize your the circumstances, you know, with me, you know, it was more towards my age and everything else and COVID and stuff. So once I realized that, I was able to sit back and just wait and let everything play out. We'll go last one here, Mike Chapel. Xavier, in your career, you've seen the toll this this sport business takes on your body. Moving to 17 games, are you okay with that or would you prefer to stay at 16? <laughs> I mean, um, you just got to keep working at it, you know, preferably 17. It's nothing you can say or do now. So it's just got to keep be a professional at this point and then go out there and just work on your body and play that extra game. So, I mean, at some point, enough's enough. For it. And I mean, 18 games, I mean, what's too many? Now, that's not for me to say. Thanks, Thank Xavier. Oh, we appreciate your time. Thanks, Hex. Media will pick.